What's up, guys? Emmanuel Sanders, wide receiver for the Denver Broncos. I'm ready to show you guys a company that I started. It's called Fan Gauge. This app is revolutionary. We're about to go shopping now, you dig? Right now, we're pulling up to Maxfield. I need something for my son. If I'm going to be rocking high fashion, my kids got to be rocking high fashion. It's coming to you, my friend. <laughs> I've spent about 20000 a month on clothes. How much is that piece? 78500 78,500? Receivers are divas. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Emmanuel Sanders, wide receiver for the Denver Broncos. Right now, I'm getting ready to show you guys a company that I started. It's called Fan Gauge. Uh, I know you guys used to seeing me play on the football field, but it's something um, on my entrepreneurial side. Vangage is an app that we created, me and my cousin. Uh, we tried to figure out a way to uh, connect the celebrity uh, with the fan. Say, for instance, you go to a golfing event and your favorite celebrity is Tiger Woods or Roy McElroy, or you go to the Cowboys game and literally you're on the sideline and you take a picture of Dak Prescott. The celebrity can sign the actual picture that you took with your iPhone, and I think that that makes it even more memorable. This is my boy, Brandon Marshall. He's one of the best linebackers in the NFL. We live right now. We live on Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, man. We live, um, you know, being able to, you know, show the fan that, you know, Brandon Marshall is actually signing his autograph. In my opinion, it's, it's revolutionary, you know? With this app, um, with Fan Gauge, man, people all over the country say, all right, I want an autograph from Emmanuel Sanders. I'm gonna shoot, you know what I'm saying, my picture to the, to the app. He gonna sign it, and I think that's beautiful. I have people always walking to me, man, man, are you tired of taking pictures? I'm like, no, nah, I'm not tired of taking pictures, because, man, as long as you grateful for the small things, man, you, you, you in the right place, because I tell people all the time, man, NFL stands for not for long. Yeah. It's all about longevity, man, and making the right moves. You see a lot of these guys, man, they sign these five, six-year deals. Why would you ever have somebody locked in for five or six years when you know the salary cap is going up and guys are making money? Darrell Reeves did it right. Huh. Darrell Reeves, yeah. every year he signed a one-year deal when the money was going up, he was maximizing the dollar. Hey, hey, Sam know? Bradford did it right. Sam Bradford did Got it right. Paid. My free agency was uh, crazy. Man, I remember I went to Jacksonville. I dipped out. I dipped, dipped out on him. So I go out to Kansas City, <laughs> and this is where things got crazy. I tell, I tell Kansas City, I only want to sign a three-year, $15 million deal. That's where like, I had set the bar because I knew my talent. So Kansas City, they telling me, no, we gonna, you're going to sign a four-year deal. I'm like, no, I'm not signing a four-year deal. So I get a phone call from the GM. He goes, we're going to offer you the money you want. So I said, all right, cool. I'm, I'm a Kansas City chief. Yeah. I think I'm a Kansas City chief. I get in his office. He goes, yeah, four years for $12 million. They tried to keep me there overnight mm. to keep trying to persuade me to sign this four-year deal, right? right? I'm like, man, these guys played me. And I'm talking to my agent. He goes, hold on. He goes, uh, I got the Broncos on the line. I'm like, oh, snap. He said, they're offering you three or 15 with the ability to make 18 million. I said, say less. Yeah. So I got Kansas City right outside the room. Yeah. I don't even know what to tell them. We in the same division. Right. Andy Reid was driving 100 miles an hour down the street. Speeding. Like, trying to catch me before I left. He hopped out of the car. He said, what the hell just happened? Yeah. He said, what the f just happened? So I go in his office. He's sitting up there, he like pacing, he like pacing back and forth. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, man, I'm about to go play with Peyton Manning, bro. It, it don't even <laughs> yeah. matter what you're yeah, about to say up, right now, up. you know what I mean? But that was my free agency process. It was crazy. We're about to go shopping now, you dig? They about to tag along and, and shop with me, man. So take care of your business, right. man. Much love, man. Much love, bro. All right, my brother. place I'm getting ready to take you guys is called Maxfield. I probably spend about 20, 30,000 a month just on clothes alone because I, I love clothes. I love, you know, waking up every single day and wearing the best of the best clothes. I got a son, he's five, his name's Princeton. You guys can check him out on Instagram. His name's Princeton Sanders. He has like 50,000 followers trying to get that up. My kids, they, they wear high fashion as well, you know? So I couldn't imagine buying myself nice clothes and not taking care of my kids as well. Yeah, you go on Prince's Instagram, you'll see, you'll see the Gucci, you'll see the Fendi, you'll see, you'll see his attitude, you'll see his personality, he'll have his arms crossed, he's sitting on the car, he's he's like a model. 
I'm big on my brand, you know. Uh, when you say Emmanuel Sanders, Emmanuel Sanders is a brand. And so, you know, when I post on Instagram, my brand is high fashion. I want my brand to be first class, and I just feel like um, the clothes and my appearance it has to be first class as well in order for me to win a championship on and off the field. I fell in love with football. I feel like my, my junior year, um, I had to make a decision where I wanted, did I want to play baseball or did I want to play football? I chose football and track, and um, that's that's when I knew I loved football. And, you know, for me, I grew up, I grew up rough, so uh, I remember I got my first um, college scholarship from Kansas University, and I never thought that I'd go to college ever, you know? I was getting ready to go to the Army or something just to be able to get out where I, the circumstances of how I grew up, so. Uh, I started getting college scholarships, so I was like, man, I really love football to be able to get a free education as well. And so it transitioned into me making it to the NFL, coming out of SMU, and you know, and now I'm in my, I'm coming up on my 10th year, and uh, it's crazy. Right now I'm coming off of Achilles, and so, I didn't know if I was gonna be a Bronco because you know I'm doing uh, you know a certain amount of dollars and uh, the Broncos had to make a decision. Them still picking up my my contract and my option, uh, man, it feels really good. I'm grateful for the opportunity, uh, but it also feels good to and, you know it's nothing like those situations where you know Drake said it best: "You are who you think you are." All that that, that hard work and 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 my mentality it, it's paying off right now because the Broncos still believe in me. They say receivers are divas, and we are divas, but it's a reason why we're divas, and a lot of people don't understand. Like, why, why are receivers divas? A receiver, everything is predicated on the offensive line and it's predicated on the quarterback. If you don't have a quarterback, then you're not gonna be able to showcase your talent. I don't care if you're beating guys off the line and you're getting wide open. It's all about stats, and people only see stats, and that's the only thing that matters because people are not seeing you get open. And so, as a receiver, sometimes you get frustrated when you're working your butt off every single year to get to this level and then uh, the thing, things aren't going your way. It gets very frustrating and so sometimes we act out on that. It's all in the hands of one person, you know? And so that can get frustrating when you put in all this work and it's like it's not paying off for you how you want it to because you're not in control of it. So I guess that's the definition of diva. <laughs> so right now we're pulling up to Maxfield in West Hollywood, about to link on my boy Zoe. Hopefully got some fresh clothes for me and uh, for my son as well, man, to keep us fresh in the latest. <laughs> Dog hey, fresh, my man. Good, man. <laughs> my dog is fresh. My dog is fresh. Hey, my guy always fresh, man. Look at this dude drip, man. So, E, what we got today, man? What man, you looking for? I need something for my son, man. Oh, for the little swag. Yeah, for the little swag and something for me as well. So. Of course. I know you got something, though, right? I got you. You remember all this, right? We yeah. changed it up a little bit I since you were in here last. Just give me a second. <laughs> What are you used to with art? You have to come to the art, right? <laughs> this art comes to you, player. What? <laughs> e, it's coming to you, my friend. You gonna run me over or what? You know. <laughs> oh. How much is that piece? 78,500. 78,500? How many of those are you gonna see? Exactly. Crawling exactly. around. Exactly, that's like the new way. Text me if you change your mind. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right here, we've got the kids. The thing is, the kids stuff flies, so while we have this, I gotta have you, you know, in here. We've got the Palm Angels, Gucci, Balenciaga. I like these Balenciaga pants. Like I said, if I'm gonna be rocking high fashion, my kids gotta be rocking high fashion. It's only right, right, Zo? Facts. Come on. But you got something for me? All day, my <laughs> friend. See, my guy, on, hey, he, he keeps the drip. We got a whole room for you. That's a collection from Charles Peterson did all the images. Nah. So all that imagery on there is pictures that he took in the grunge era. And that's Cobain and a lot of the stars from that era. 2,500 for the jacket, but I definitely gotta get this, man. This is just dope. I'll take that off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so
So E, I think we're good, man. We got everything lined up. So let me just recap with you. Princeton, we've got the Palm Angel sweatsuit, Balenciaga sweatpants. For you, we've got the Greg Lauren parka, the Greg Lauren three-in-one sweatshirt, soloist, grunge movement, the Cobain special, Burberry print shorts, and the Burberry rain jacket. will keep you dry. Yeah. Don't forget the shoes, too. Valentino right here. $11,798.63. It's not bad for all this. Not bad at all. My man. Drippy. 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 I'm about to change my name to Drip God. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Great to see you, brother. Thank you. Thanks for well, stopping man. in. For real. Hey, so that's a wrap, guys, man. It's been a long day. Hey, I, I just want to shout out Brandon Marshall. I want to shout out my boy Zoe and Maxfield for allowing us to shop in their facility. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hey, I appreciate the love. Appreciate everything, man. Signing off. Peace.